probably be for you, man. This is, uh, this is an old hat for you at this point. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel? Um, you know, I'll tell you what, man. I, I feel... I'm really happy that I'm back to fighting heavyweights. Uh, I'm happy with the way uh, my body felt during camp. Um, I ate kind of like didn't eat as clean as I used to as I was for the last couple of camps. Uh, so I was a little bit happier throughout the camp. Yeah, yeah. So body looks a little bit sloppier, but I'm happier. Um, you know, for the most part, man, I'm, I'm happy. I'm good. I got no troubles. Uh, body feels good. Um, it's kind of it, man. It's kind of how, how much did you like drop down from normal before the Bader fight? I didn't talk to you before that one. So, so uh, what were you doing before, after that? Before the Bader fight, I'm getting hot. Um, I think I was I was at 248, 247. Uh, going into camp and then or going going coming out of camp going in, going up to Uncasville and then uh, And then when I weighed in I think I was like 253 with everything going so I was probably 247 248 I know it was, it was I was down in Florida. I was constantly wrestling Fighting all the time What about this camp? Were you still down in Florida the whole camp? This no, no, actually I did my camp up here um, And uh, about, oh, I'm sorry up in Indiana Yeah, um, yeah. And uh, it was good, man. It, it was. I'm probably two, two fifty six, two fifty seven, somewhere around there. Um, I feel better. The weather was kind of bad, so it kind of affected some training. So I had to drive to Indy, so it's you know uh, seventy miles each way. Um, so I had that affected a little bit at times, um, but we made up for it. I trained at Purdue a lot. Uh, worked a lot with the D line uh, and the O line as far and linebackers as far as like. Like we even did things like slap boxing. We did a lot of wall work, like as far as explosive and like how strong they all are. Uh, hold me up against the wall, making me get out. So I got work in and I helped a couple of different avenues. Uh, Purdue was great in that aspect. Um, it was cool, man. It was good. It's good camp. Not that we want to talk about like end of the line for you, but I mean you are in your 40s now. It's different yeah. for heavyweights. I, I know that, but since you were at Purdue a bunch, I mean, is that like an outlet for you after retirement? Do you think that's something? That you might be up there working with the wrestling team or working with the football team or, or anything like um, that? You know, I, I think if I were to do anything, I would probably, uh, I'm a serial entrepreneur. Um, I'd probably start a, a company and be able to uh, convey my, my life experiences uh, from football and fighting and how that could help O-line, D-line linebackers. Uh, I think rotational uh, flexibility and rotational strength is, uh, is lacks in, uh, in, in college football as well as professional football. And I think I've, I've experienced enough where I could develop a curriculum for that and I could help out people quite a bit. So let's talk about this one now. Back in Connecticut, I mean, like, this is like your second home for fighting at this point. I mean, we've been here Three in a row, months. man. Yeah. Uh, do you dig it? Or, I mean, is it at the point now where you don't want to lobby you the Bellator crew and say, hey, man, you got to do something that Indy's on um, I, you know what, man? The checks don't bounce. Yeah. So I don't really care where I go. I mean, granted, it'd be nice to go someplace sexy, you know? Uncasville's not terribly sexy. I mean, is Indianapolis sexy for that matter? You know, but that's also home. Yeah. Uh, you know, so it is what it is. I, I don't really care. Like I said, they've got some kind of contract there where they got to fulfill a certain number of fights. And if I'm that guy, I'm good with that. After the Bader fight goes on to, to win the title, obviously, okay. is there any kind of moral victory or solace in, in you losing to him that he's the champion, or is it like, you know, what the hell is it? You know, um, no, I, I'm, I'm Bader, as a friend, I'm happy for Bader. <laughs> Um, he's, a, he's a really good dude, he's a really good family, uh, he's always been uh, really good to me, really fair to me, uh, so I'm happy for him and his success. Uh, with that being said, uh, I, I was I was salty that a 205er came up and wrestled me and that's why I lost the tournament, right? Um, but he knocked out Mo and he knocked out Fedor, he knocked out Fedor faster than I did, so I can't I can't be salty about that. If you're gonna come in and do your job and fight, fight that way, and throw hands and, and be strategic about it, then that's great. If you're gonna come up and wrestle up everybody and try to get people pregnant, then you're stealing it and you don't really belong here. But that's not what he showed. He came out there, he, he took me down because he knew that's my was my weakness, and he knocked Fedor out because he because he knew he could throw hands at them for a little bit. I'm impressed with it. Good job for him. Does he have a target on his back now as far as you're concerned? Now you want to get the streak going and hope that he's still champion by the time you might be able to be. You know, you know, you know, I'm, and you know, you're gonna get this answer from me. Um, but no, I don't care. All right, like I, I, I care about Keratin. Genuinely. Uh, he's he's arguably on a very similar streak to Fedor was. You know, been fighting for 20 years uh, and lost six fights. You know, I mean, like there's not many people like that in the world. He can knock. He just knocked out uh, the vagrant faster. Than, you know, than pretty much anybody ever in history. 
uh, and and, um, and and did something in one round that I couldn't even do in three. And I consider myself a good striker. So you know, he's I can't I can't look forward to anything like that or look past anything like that. What did you think about kind of him? You just touched on it a little bit, but when they called you and said this is the fight, the event, you know, what were you kind of your thoughts at that time? Um, it, it's, it's a great challenge, right? And that's what. That's what I'm looking for. That's why I'm in this gig. Uh, you know, it's, it's funny. I was actually thinking to myself, like, it, how, how much it, it kind of sucks that, as a fighter, your toughest fights are when you get older. <laughs> you know, like, obviously, that's when you start to earn those fights. But, like, like Kerry would have been awesome to fight when I was younger. You know, maybe a little bit spry or healed a little bit faster. Um, but it's also the same thing for him. So, I guess it's kind of the way it goes. Like, you kind of earn your way up the ladder and you get these really big fights that are awesome fights. But you're just a little bit older, a little bit slower. Lower, you know, cardio's not nearly as good as it used to be, kind of stuff like that. Is that how you feel kind of going, in, going into this one? And, and again, like as I touched on earlier, is that, do you see a light at the end of the tunnel and say, yeah, there's going to come a time when I'm not thinking about the next one, when the next one is the last one? You know, um, I'd be foolish to say I, I don't. I have, I, uh, the most dangerous man in the world is a man with options. Uh, and I've got options. Uh, I always have. So uh, I just haven't gotten to the point where I really want to capitalize on them. I'm happy doing what I do. Um, I was not happy in the bitter camp. I wasn't happy getting folded up like a pretzel all the time, you know, and dumped on my head and whatever else. Uh, but this one here wasn't bad. It was a good camp. Uh, if if Karatanov wins, then he'd be the damn good Mitrion. And that's kind of the way I see it. You said he's very similar to Bader. I mean, if you've got to pick a way that this thing goes down on Friday night, what is it? Well, I, would, I don't get paid by the minute or by the punch. So if I can if I can put hands on him and sleep on him real quick, that'd be great, you know? But he's durable. I, I don't really see that happening. Uh, and, and I see kind of doing whatever I have to do to, to, to win. Uh, obviously, I see myself winning, but he's tough. He's really good at what he does. And it'll, uh, it'll be a, a major accomplishment in my career if I can pull this one out.